This video is setting up the data tab. The very first thing we're going to do is start at the field tab and I'm going to copy all of those field names that we've previously entered all the way across, take a copy, go across to the data tab, choose the first cell and I'm going to paste them in so that we've got all the same headings in the data tab section. I'm going to choose the first cell of the program name field which we remember, I'll just go back to the field setup, is the very first column where we're expecting only valid data to be available in our program. I'm going to then choose from the data menu the item called data validation and a little option box comes up uh, and in the allow field I'm going to choose what's called list because it's a list of fields that we previously entered and I'm going to a little source picker click on that and then go back to our field tab and choose paint those four options it puts a green line around those five options puts a green line around them re-click onto the source picker icon and you'll see it's populated that information into the source field choose OK and then it's been chosen and and put into that cell so the result of doing it it brings up a little drop down arrow and when we click on that drop down arrow you've got the choices of the five different valid data items that you can choose by choosing one healing workshop it'll populate that field if you choose a different one youth camp it'll populate that field without you having to enter the data now simply copy and paste that cell into as many as you like now and you can you will have them there available now I've just deleted out all those entries so that when you get back to them you have the choices f from a blank status when you start to enter the data again I can delete that out but when you click on any cell the little arrow next to the cell lights up to show that there's a drop down menu available now this has to be done for all of the valid data fields gender would be the next one and again I'll go to data data validation I'll choose the list method I'll choose the source going back to the field I'll choose the source being male and female click on that little data icon choose OK and again you'll now have the option of male or female correctly spelled and exactly in the right valid order for you to use in your program continue that for all the valid data entry items and then we'll expand the spreadsheet ready for data collection.